The sleepy little town of Montclair, Massachusetts is about to be woken up to a nightmare. I hate this town. This place reminds me of every foster home I've lived in. Kelvin Kettle stood at the edge of downtown Montclair, looking at the faded streetlights, wondering if this was the life he really wanted to live. I miss my garden already, but this town will be the home of my greatest achievements. I'm going to make these people pay for being born and living in the shithole. I never thought I'd see so many redheads in one place in my life. This will be sweet. Kelvin Kettle is a man obsessed. He returns to the small town of his youth to plant his garden in the place where his soul first became twisted. A wind out of the north blew in slightly. He stood waist deep in the murky water. I'm glad I chose this place to plant my flowers. It's cold, dark, and isolated. No one would ever disturb my flowers here. No one would dare go into this garden. As he continued to stand in the water, he saw movement in the distance. I thought I was alone. I thought no one would find my garden. If you come here, I'll plant you along with the rest of my flowers. Only one man can stop Kettle. The man who shares his last name and his DNA. But can his brother, Sebastian, stop him before Kelvin plants another red-headed flower in his garden of evil? Come into the garden, if you dare. The Garden by Mark Baylor, Book One of the Montclair Murders, now available at these retailers. <laughs>